no excuses ladies i am eva eckert and i am your host so what is really no excuses ladies weekly show all about it's it's for all of you out there ladies who have been struggling with making too many excuses in your life and find yourself really unhappy and unsuccessful in life so this weekly show will teach you how to apply the no excuses mindset in all areas of your life with the foundation of health and wellness so you can succeed in life move the needle forward with the necessary tools provided by me here no excuses tribe is welcoming all the badass ladies out there and those of you who want to become a badass in life so i am here to help you to support you to teach you and guide you to your full potential i will teach you the power of self-belief self-motivation discipline and mastermind alliance so you can stop making the excuses and create the life you truly deserve and desire by being the best version of you so welcome again to the show welcome i just want to quickly uh, ladies invite you again for this show replay this later on uh, make sure that you're following us on youtube following me on youtube the information will be added later on to this post and uh, quickly again if you if you are the first time here on this page or first time watching this youtube video make sure that you subscribe and liking and inviting other people to the page because i think you're gonna find so much value in these lessons today is episode number 22 can you believe it 22 and we're gonna have a special guest which i'm gonna introduce in just a second so give me a moment and again please uh, welcome all of you here who are just new to the page and make sure that you're introducing yourself to this page that you may be making a quick video or or posting something about you because it's all about connection and helping one another here right so what would be your goal what is your profession professional maybe personal goal so please write it down now make sure that you're really participating in today's um, today's video because we, we are here on Zoom and we're also here on Facebook and on Instagram and uh, write the questions, participate with us because it's going to be amazing. Now, just to recap last week's show, we were talking about how people can discourage you in life. So if you have not seen these episodes, make sure you logging yourself in and again, watching previous episodes because they are truly amazing so again today i want to welcome a very special guest she's here with me debbie grocer and what we're going to be discussing today and, and and in today's episode it's it's something that a lot of us take for granted it's our life we're going to be discussing to be grateful and have a great attitude in life and really truly appreciate what you have so debbie welcome thank you so much for joining me today welcome to the show thank you Eva. <laughs> you're welcome all right fantastic so so uh, uh, debbie will tell you her story because debbie is an author of a book that will be coming out in a few weeks and she really tell you everything from the beginning how it's all started so maybe debbie just let us know what's the title of the book it's never take for granted never take for granted that's the title of the book so if you could just kind of recap how it all started uh, just tell us your story because the story i will tell you guys when you're gonna listen to the story when you're gonna read the story and listen to debbie it will bring some emotions in you and i guarantee you it might bring the tears it might bring something that relate to you it might bring something that you went through similar thing because remember the stories of our lives they have certain similarities okay and the fact that we are not alone in this life in this life it's just something that makes you feel better so debbie please take over i want to listen i want to hear i want to take some notes i want to really be inspired by you okay okay great first of all eva and i have known each other for well over 20 years we knew each other back from the gym and you know as most of you have come to know eva she's a beautiful vibrant athletic woman but you know i have seen her now blossom into mega 
just a, a, a full, complete person who is capable in so many ways. And Thank I'm you. very proud to know her and very grateful that she is giving me a little bit of time on her program today. Uh, my story is that I, you know, at one point in my life, uh, really had it all. I had the beautiful big five bedroom house with four bathrooms, a gunite pool, cabana, beautiful property, and a big job to support it. And I used to work on Wall Street for 30 years and I uh, made high six figures. And then, you know, in, in a few short years, um, I, number one, I lost the job. Number two, and even, you know, another big tragedy, I lost my husband at only 51 years old. Yeah. And then in 2011, five years after his death, I almost died myself. I fell down a flight of stairs, I broke my skull, and I suffered a traumatic brain injury. And now it's nearly 10 years since my accident, and it's been a long road of recovery. Very, and, right, yes. And, and after I came out of my six-week coma, I realized the fact that I was still alive, that I had a story to tell, and I wanted to share it with everybody, because I think it's pretty remarkable. And um, that was the genesis of my wanting to write the book and to realize how much I had taken for granted. You know, I had it all and now it's gone and now I have to start over. Yes, but yeah. Debbie, if I can just ask you, because I think we didn't say a very, very important fact. If you wanted to share with everybody that you have it all right, you have the house, you have you have a, an amazing job. I remember like today going into your house. This was like, you know, for me, I was just like a 20 something year old young girl starting. I was not even married. And here I come across such a successful, uh, beautiful woman. Uh, that it's just have it all for herself, you know, athletic, you were taking parts in triathlons. I mean, you are just beyond everything. Plus, not only beautiful, but, you know, successful, like financially independent. And, but I did not know one thing about you at that point, that you were addicted. Yes, yes. She I, was uh, I had a addiction a very big dependency on alcohol i had and no clue was... guys i had no clue that that's what debbie was suffering with at this point and that's what she's talking about in this book that you know she had it all she had it like when you think about it what people really drive what are the dri drives in our life what is it it's it's a it's a control of you know how you run your life you want to have a control if in of, of of your decisions that you're making control in your finances right being able to communicate and in like have great relationship have money those are the uh, the the aspects of our life that once they are there you would think okay i'm successful i feel good right i feel good i'm happy but there was something missing in there that you had that addiction and because of that yes. addiction, you fell down the stairs, right? Correct? Yes. Yes. So, I, so I, think I, about I, it. I like all the stairs in the middle of the night, I broke my skull and I suffered a traumatic brain injury. How long I were almost, you in a coma for? I was in a six week coma. Six and, weeks, guys. Uh, six six weeks, weeks in coma. And I was on a feeding tube. And the only thing good about a coma is that it took off about 50 pounds of weight that I had gained in the preceding months because I was drinking heavily. You know, I was drinking a lot of Pinot Noir, which sounds very shishi and, you know, like it was a good thing, but, you know, it was, it was just, it was taking me out of my athletic shape. It was putting on weight, water weight and everything else. Yes. And, uh, the only thing good about the coma was the, the feeding tube and the weight loss, but, I don't recommend it for anybody. We're just and, uh, making a joke out of this almost the good thing. Right. Guys, don't don't yes. don't take this like we are serious. We just we, 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 we there is a lesson in all of this which I'm gonna present you at the end, but right now just uh take her story as she tells you, you know, six weeks in coma and and and, and really what the doctors were saying. 
Right, and, and my heart stopped. I needed to have an epi injection in my heart in order to restart it. And I was spiking fevers of 106 degrees. They had to keep me in a special bed called an Arctic Sun blanket where they had cold water running through the tubes under yes. the mattress to keep my body temperature low because my brain could have fried and I could have suffered significant brain damage. And yes. that means my cognitive capability would be gone. I wouldn't be here on a, on a program with Eva. I wouldn't be able to write a book. I wouldn't be able to do any of that. But instead of beating myself up over my alcohol dependency, uh, my addiction or anything, I decided to get to work and, and spend the time in putting my message together and, and telling a story and sharing it with other people so it could potentially help somebody else avoid the pitfalls that I went through. Because like Eva said, I went through the limiting beliefs and other things where, um, you know, I, I didn't think I was all that great. But, you know, in the meantime, the only person that was limiting me was me. Yes, and that's a lesson right there, right? But if you yes. could, if you could say one more time, Debbie, uh, the name of the book so everybody knows. It's never take for granted. Yes, I'm just going to put it up in the chat. Area. Yes, you can put in a chat. You can put it here on Zoom. You can put it in, in on on Facebook. If uh, we can always add this as well, so you will have a chance actually to put your email in 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 this link and submit your email so once once the book is uh, is going to be published and appear in stores or I, on Amazon right whatever it's going to be yes. released you can yes. you can have a notification that it's available and you can purchase and of course it's tax deductible so that's yes, like, because I'm directing funds to, to my foundation for traumatic brain injury research. And that's mm. really important thing, I think, of this fact that you wrote the book and all the proceeds will go to this. So this is a really a, a, such a great cause that you you, you you donating to, right? Because it's not only uh, sharing the story and people can relay alcohol uh, you know somebody might not be addicted necessarily to alcohol but other things addictions and not really uh, appreciating the life that you have and then at the end there is a good story coming out of all of this right exactly so, exactly you so know, yesterday i i wrote I, I did a post on facebook because the guy who was in the room next to me where i'm living which is the nursing facility that's another um, very important thing that from beautiful house having it all alcohol destroys you and the fact that you went through such a trauma you ended up being in a nursing facility right and and, and the the guy in the room next to me he passed away a month ago and he was a new york state trooper helping a motorist on, on, the, on the Long Island Expressway. And he got hit by a car and flew into the air and, and he fell onto his skull uh, on the other side. And he never fully recovered. He never uh, became fully conscious. He never spoke again. Mm -hmm. And so that happened three years ago. So he almost died then. And then he finally died physically about a month ago. Mm -hmm. And That's meanwhile, Meanwhile, you know, I, my fall was caused because I'd been drinking and, you know, and, and so it's a miracle that I'm alive. Yes. And, you know, so why, why am I alive and, and why not Joe, the New York State Trooper? Yes. So they call it survivor's guilt. And, uh, but my intent is to do good things with my life going forward. And I also, um, you know, became... I took a road and a path back to God, and He's in my life again. And as a result, I'm in much better, a much better place mm -hmm. in terms of my relationship with with Him. Yes. And um, and that's been a, a very big an important uh, part of the epiphany that stopped my drinking, and now I'm almost ten years sober. Congratulations to this. This is yeah. really something that I'm, I'm, I'm sure you are thankful every day. But I, yes. I believe that th this is how I look at this. Obviously, I did not read a book. I knew Debbie.
from years ago and look how life happens it happens that you just like connected on facebook thanks to social media <laughs> and and you have happened to be on this on this show and we start interacting and i find out about the book and we start talking and i thought this is a great story to be told plus you're gonna be starting uh, really advertising for the book and trying to get as many people as possible to purchase the book so the money is being directed into something bigger than you so when you create something bigger than you in life and we always say you know have no excuses mindset when you create something bigger in life it, 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 when it's something bigger than you it becomes so massively strong and empowering i think for your mission right because that's when we when when we created peak physique was the same thing it wasn't just for us it was such a big movement big motion we were saving lives of other people right so uh, we wanted to encourage you all to really like first of all sign up put your email address get that book read that book uh, because this money will go to obviously a great cause, but it's any story that starts with really, when you think about it, the biggest stories of our lives, it's always not, nothing ever comes immediately. Somebody is happy and beautiful and that beautiful ending story. It usually there is a tragic event. There is something painful. There is some struggle. And then the, the story kind of blossoms and changes, right? So this is what I, what I feel. It's like, first of all, the lesson here is be grateful for what you have. Appreciate every little thing in life. Because if you appreciate what you have, more will come to you. That's a law of the new universe. That's a law of magic in this world, I think, that counting the blessing. And, and, and if you concentrate on what you have that you appreciate it, right? Instead of what you don't have, what's going to happen? Because the law of the universe will give you what you concentrated on, right? So if you concentrate on the good things, more good things will come. But if you concentrate on the bad things, oh, I don't have this, I am not this, I cannot do this, more of this stuff's coming to Re realize like sometimes when, when you feel doubtful, this is what happens to me. If I feel doubtful, I need to cut this cut this uh, energy, bad energy, because I feel more doubtful a minute later. So I have to like shake myself and say, Eva, like literally, what are you doing? You, you, you have so much going on for yourself. Believe in your cap capabilities. Believe in your abilities. That self-belief got to come in place, replace the bad things, and immediately you start feeling better. Even changing the spot where you are, leave, like literally changing, maybe not sitting at the desk, moving somewhere, going into the other room, talking to someone, getting a different vibe and energy, it's so important. And I'm telling you guys, concentrating on the good things. Because, because if you don't, more of the stuff will bring you. And yesterday I was literally, and other thing is, I believe that if you agree with me, is that once you're going to catch yourself on these things that you do them, you actually do less of them, I believe, because you are so aware of, of the fact that you were like maybe so negative, right? Because then you're catching yourself and like, hey, I can't be like this. I have to be more positive. I have to have more positive out, like view in life, right? And that, that good things will be happening, right? And it's just, I believe that it's a, a one shift of thinking today can change your entire existence. That one shift, exactly. positive thoughts into negative thoughts, because we always hear this, you know, everybody talks about it, but you hear this, but then if you truly don't feel it you, and, and not apply it, it's not going to change your life. So like literally catch yourself on the negative thoughts, catch yourself on the doubting thoughts, catch yourself on comparing yourself to others. And I guarantee you, it will change your life and look debbie had so there's another very important thing she had so much going on for her and i'm sure that you can relate to this that so many of you went through uh, similar stories uh, she didn't take she she didn't stop and look around because obviously her brain was fogged out of 
really by the alcohol, right? Because you were trying to cope with something, deep stuff that you were going through a, a, a life. Usually that causes you something, right? There are other things that cause to drink alcohol, right? And she could have, have felt sorry for herself for all the stuff that has happened to her, like, you know, uh, losing the husband, uh, uh, the coma, losing the boyfriend and all the other cr uh, crazy stuff that, that happened with her. But instead, look what she did. She rewrote the story in a way that she became a hero at the end. Because by writing the book, I think she looks from a perspective on like another person, right? You wrote the book. This is what happens. And I don't need to feel sorry. I feel grateful that I'm alive. I am so blessed that I am able to share the story with others. So guys, rewrite your story. I'm not saying rewriting your story, making a fantasy. <laughs> I am saying rewrite your story that every story, the most painful one has lessons. And if you take them, then you're going to say, okay, I learned so much from this, or this was a good lesson for me, or this is, this is, my breakthrough that's what it's all about rewriting your story i like giving you an example i was raised by a single mother no father right and i realized that all my life was always searching for that kind of father father figure in 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 male figure right like looking for that support but then or, or maybe feeling even sorry for myself that i didn't have a father but i think it makes me stronger at the end so you got to think like all these things are there for you to really build you up instead of push you down. The fact that you're going through life with certain things, it's all about for you to take the lesson and not push yourself into the ground, not beat yourself up, raise yourself up and be thankful for the experience that you have done and you have full experience, meaning connection to your emotions and be able to help others, right? Absolutely. And Eva, I was going to say that I know for a fact, having gone through uh, even writing this book, everybody has a story. And most everybody has a story that's worth telling to the world. And so if you're thinking about writing a book, I would highly recommend it. And, uh, you know, maybe that's a topic for another day. But um, I really do believe that everyone has a story worth telling. Absolutely, everyone. And when you... And, and a lot of us, exactly, that would be a great topic for another time, really give you, like, points on the writing books because... A lot of us could, but you, you, a lot of you would think, oh, maybe I am not a writer, right? I can't write. But Debbie, when you started writing a book, what did you know about writing books? Well, I wrote books while I was working on Wall Street, but I wrote them about the company and the industry that I covered. Exactly. So I, I did have practice in writing in that regard, but this was my first independent, independently authored book. And so I had to take it from my own personal experience because that's what I knew. So I started with writing about my early life. First, I actually start the book with uh, everything leading up to my accident mm -hmm. and the fact that, you know, I almost died. The fact that I, my heart stopped, the fact that I was spiking fevers. I wrote about all of the medical, the, the emergency surgeries that I had. And then I went back to the beginning of my life and started there and wrote about my childhood. I wrote about my marriage. I wrote about my career on Wall Street. But it, it was very cathartic. It was very helpful to me in going through and, and realizing I really did have an amazing life. And I, I'm so fortunate to have the opportunity to start over, which is going to be hard work, but I will do it because... I, I think that there's probably more things that I could write again with other books to come. But at the same time, I've been given a chance to live. So many people yeah. don't get that chance. They, yeah. you know, die of, uh, of a brain tumor or brain cancer. My friend just died in June and she was only 63 and has a beautiful daughter. And, uh, you know, so many people die early and they, 
and, and they never get to tell their story and the world never gets to hear it. But that's why, you know, encouraging people to write books, I think, yeah. is it's a good way to for them to reflect on their life and all that they do have. Absolutely. Because if I, on it, I lost, I could go crazy. You know, I had the big house is gone, the money's gone, the material goods are gone. But you know what? I'm alive to recreate it again. Exactly. And, and the power of human being is able to recreate things or create more things. Like sometimes, the yeah, the resilience that we have and, and the no excuses mindset, like look what a power of no excuses right here with Debbie. So much she had going on and so much she lost, she lost almost her life. And she, she is able to put it in writing the story of her life and a lot of you will be watching and thinking maybe you feel sad for yourself about little things you overthinking you being you know you net picking of things that really don't matter and here a person almost losing the life so always really appreciate guys what you have be thankful for every single moment on this earth and really Live with congruency, like ask yourself these questions. What are you here for on this earth? You know, because this time has to be well spent. The time has to be uh, really active, right? Pro like active, acting proactively, creating. We all have it in all different areas of life. And like Debbie did, she put it in her words in books. And as I know from journaling, writing, it opens up the sixth sense in you. It, 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 that's something to your brain when you write. And especially when you were writing your your story, uh, I know for a fact that certain things you start writing and open up things that you've forgotten about. Am I right? Oh, that yeah. You, it was like, wait a second, I forgot. And now the brain is bringing you something that you totally forgot about. But now here you're writing in such a vivid description of things that happen that's really a power it's like a magic so well the fact that when i had to write this book the fact that i remembered so much of my life and i remember details from meetings that i attended in, in on my job and presentations i gave and the fact that my brain was functioning enough to be able to write this all down was a miracle to me and i'm so grateful that i i still have my brain power absolutely yes it's it's, it's incredible that after six weeks of coma you were able to write book and again it's 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 power it's that power that we have and and like think about it the 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 life is power like when you think about life it's that energy that you are given oh. Uh, your organs, your brain, uh, everything has that energy and it, it has to show in certain ways. So I think writing and like what she did, she put that energy on a paper, you know, so we have energy to work out. We have energy to digest. We have energy to live and we need to use that energy in a wild, wise way and with that no excuses power. So guys, I would love for everyone, again, please put your email to get notification of the book. Ask Debbie more questions if you have any and, and make comments on this video. And remember that everyone has a story and that you need to look into the future. Like we said, we gave you some great lessons. And yeah, I think it would be great if we would meet again and talk about writing a book. Right, that would be That's a nice, me. nice uh, recap so and give. Honored and I thank you so much, Eva. This My pleasure. Been, oh, it, it, it's a huge push. And it'll be my first foray into actually launching my book because that's coming up soon. Really wonderful. So everyone, again, thank you, Debbie, for joining us today. Thank you so much for being here. And again, thank everyone, you. thank you for your time because this is your time. You're spending it with us and watching it with us. We will talk to you, ladies and gentlemen, later. Have a no excuses day. Recording stuff. Bye. Bye, Eva.